Hello guys, this is Shyam from SS Emerald World. Today, I am going to explain you how to interface 16x2 LCD display with Atmega 32 microcontroller. The softwares required for this experiment are Proteus and AVR Studio. If you don't have the software, then here is a card for the videos for downloading and installing them. Now, let's get this video started. Before going into the experiment, I would like to give some brief introduction on the experiment and the components used in it. The main component which we use in this experiment is 16 by 2 LCD display. Now, a 16 by 2 LCD display contains 16 columns and 2 rows. Therefore, totally 32 characters can be displayed in this module. Each character can be either an alphabet or a numeric value. Now, each character is displayed in the 40 pixels which are provided in one cell. In order to access this LCD display, we have certain pins. They are First one is VSS which is a ground pin, this is connected to the ground. The second pin is VDD that is the power pin which activates the LCD display. So it is connected to the plus 5 volts. The third pin which is VE that is contrast setting pin. This pin is connected to plus 5 volts with the help of a potentiometer in between the display and the source. This is used to control the contrast of the LCD display. The fourth pin is RS pin that is register select pin. This is used to toggle the states of the LCD display between the command mode and the data mode. So, this pin is made logic low that is 0 when we use command mode and it is made logic high that is 1 when we use data mode. The next pin is RW that is read or write. This pin is used to select the read or write operation. It is made logic 0 when we use write operation and it is made logic high when we use read operation. The sixth pin is enable pin. In order to achieve the operations which we have selected, we need to enable this pin in beforehand. The next pins that is from D0 to D7 are the data pins. These data pins are the pins through which we give the commands or data to the LCD display. And the next two pins that is 15th pin and 16th pin are backlight anode and backlight cathode. These two pins are connected to the plus 5 volts ground in order to lit the background of the LCD display. As I mentioned in the RS pin, we have two modes that is command mode and data mode. The command mode is selected by making the pin 4 as logic low that is 0 volts. In this mode, the microcontroller which is interfacing with this LCD display will give the commands in order to operate this LCD module in our desired way. And the data mode is selected by making the RS pin as logic high. In this mode, the microcontroller will give the data which we would like to display on the LCD module. In this 16 by 2 LCD module, there are specific commands on which the module will be operated. They are as follows. First one, 01 that is clearing the display. This means everything which is written on the display will be cleared. The second one is 02 that is return home. When this command is executed, the cursor position will be shifted to the default place. The next command is 0x04 that is decrement the cursor. In this command, the cursor position will be shifted to the left. And the next command is 0x06. In this, similar to the decrementation, the incrementation will be done. That is, the cursor position will be shifted to right side. The next command is 0x05. That is, shifting the display to the right side. In this command, the display which is showing will be shifted to the right side. In the similar way to the right, we have a command for shifting the display to the left side. That is, 0x07. Now, the next command is 0x08. That is, display off and cursor off. In this mode, the backlight LED of the LCD display will be turned off and so the cursor. The next command is 0x0a. In this command, the display will be remained off and the cursor will be turned on. The next command is 0x0c. In this command, the display will be on that is the backlight of the LCD display will be turned on and the cursor will be off. In the commands 0x0a and 0x0f, the display will be on and the cursor will be blinking. The difference between these two commands is the cursor which is blinking will be different. In one case, the cursor will be complete block and in the another case, the cursor will be underscore. The next command is 10. In this command, the cursor position will be shifted to the left extreme. In the similar way, the next command that is 0x14 will make the cursor to shift the position to the right extreme. The next command is 0x18. In this command, the entire display which is showing in the LCD module will be shifted to the left side. And in the similar way, 0x1c command will shift the entire display to the right side. Now, 
if we want to show the cursor in a specified position then we have two different commands each per a row the command 80 will force the cursor to the beginning of the first row and the c0 command will force the cursor to the second line in this 16 by 2 lcd module we have two working modes they are 8 bit mode and 4 bit mode for activating those two modes we have two different commands those are 0x38 for activating the two lines in 8 bit mode and 0x28 for activating the two lines in 4 bit mode in 8 bit mode the 8 bit data which is given by the microcontroller is taken as it is so the d0 to d7 are connected to the port of the microcontroller but in the 4 bit mode only four pins are connected to the microcontroller in this mode the data will be split into two nibbles and accessed one by one first the higher nibble will be accessed and then the lower nibble in this way the two modes are accessed each mode has its own importance that is, in 4-bit mode, the space of the circuit will be reduced because we will be using only 4 channels, that is 4 connections for sending the data or commands to the LCD display. But the time taken for sending one complete data will be more when compared to the 8-bit mode. Because in 8-bit mode, the data will be sent at a time, that is, the 8 bits will be sent at a time. So, this might increase the physical appearance by increasing the channels, but the time for transmitting will be greatly reduced. So, in this experiment, we will be using the 8-bit mode. Now, as I earlier mentioned, we have two operations in this LCD module. They are read and write. Now, the pin number 5, that is R by W pin, is set high when we use read operation and it is set low when we use write operation. In applications, we will not be using the read operation very frequently. So, we will be setting this R by W pin, that is pin number 5 of this LCD module to logic low, that is 0 volts. Now, let's check the problem statement which you are going to implement. The problem we have taken is display the given input characters on the LCD display in 8 bit mode. Now, let's check the algorithm for writing the code for this experiment. The first step is we have to define the functions for this LCD module. The different functions which we are going to use in this are command function, data function, and printing function. And after defining the functions, we have to initialize the codes for input and output operations. Now, after initializing the ports, we need to give respect to commands for achieving our required operations and then the inputs which we are going to display are to be given. In this way, the code for this experiment is written. Here are the list of the commands which we have used in writing the code. The first one is 0x01. Obviously, for clearing the display, we need to have the clearing command. So, we have taken the command 0x01. And then, we have to use this LCD display in 8-bit mode. So, I have taken the command 0x38. That is activating the two rows in the 8-bit mode. And for this experiment, I will be turning on the display, that is the backlight of the display, and I will like the cursor to blink. So, I have taken the command 0x0f. And in order to access the positions for the lines, I have taken the commands 0x80 and 0xc0. Now, we need to be very careful while we connect the LCD display with the microcontroller. So, let's see the connection diagram for this experiment. Here is the connection diagram for this experiment. See, since we are using the 8-bit mode, the D0 to D7 of this LCD display are connected to this port D of the microcontroller. And then the VSS pin, that is the ground pin, is connected to the ground. And the VDD pin, that is the power pin, is connected to the plus 5 volts. And here we can see that VEE is the contrast setting pin. So, we have connected this pin to the plus 5 volts with the help of a potentiometer in between it. And as I have said that we will be using the write operation of this LCD display, I have defaulted that pin to this ground position. And the remaining two pins that is RS and E pin are connected to an another port by which we will be altering the modes that is either to take the command or data. Now let's check the code for this experiment. This is the code which we have to write for this LCD display experiment. Firstly, we have to interface the libraries with which the program will be executed. So, for accessing the microcontroller, I have included the AVR files from each library. And I have included the standard input output functions. And for achieving the delay operation, I have included the delay function from the utility library. And the clock frequency of this Atmega32 microcontroller is 16 MHz. So, the frequency at which this program is to be run is set as 16 MHz with the help of FCP. As per the algorithm, we can see that the functions for taking commands, data, and printing the data are written in the first step. And in the main program, we can see that we have initialized the ports which we are going to use in this program. And later on, we have given the commands which are necessary for the operation in which we want to operate the LCD module. After giving these commands, we have given the data which is to be shown on the LCD display in this while loop. So, let's check the functions in detail. Firstly, let's check the command function. 
now in this command function you will be taking the commands which were given manually to the microcontroller and they will be redirected to the lcd display so the commands which we have given in this main function will be accessed in this function that is whenever we call the command function in the main it will be redirected to this position and here we can see that the first line is port c is equals to 0x02 this means in order to access the command we have to set the rs pin to logic 0 and the enable pin should be high in order to achieve this operation so as per the circuit we can see that the rs pin is connected to the 0th pin of c and the enable pin is connected to the first pin of the port c so the rs pin that is 0th pin is set 0 and the first pin that is enable pin is set high so the value is 0 2 and this value is given to port c and when this value is given then the lcd display will understand that the next data which is given to it is a command value so after enabling this lcd we need to give the command which we have written in the main function and after accessing the command we have to disable the working so the enable pin which is activated in the previous step is deactivated by sending the value 0x00 in this way the commands are taken and given to the lcd display in the similar way the data is also taken and given to the lcd display now for accessing the data we need to have the register select pin that is rs pin as logic 5 so the port c value in the first step is 0x03 where the rs pin is set to logic 5 and the enable pin is also set to logic 5 now after giving this value to lcd display the lcd module will understand that the next value which is given to it is of data type so the data which is given in the main function will be redirected to this lcd display and after that we need to disable the enable pin so it is made logic 0 in the next step so in this way the data function and the command function are written in order to access the data and the commands which we have written in the main function of this program and redirecting them to the lcd display now in order to display the data which we have given in the main function we need to have a print function so here we have written a simple loop like while the position of p is true then the character in that position is sent to the data function and that character is sent to the lcd display so after sending that character to the lcd display the pointer value should be updated so the post incrementation is applied in this position now till this condition is satisfied the values which we have given in the input are displayed in the output so in this way the values which we have given are displayed in the output using this lcd print function here we can see that I want to display this data in the first line so I have given the command 0x80 and I want to show the second data in the second line so I have given the command 0xc0 after showing this I will be clearing the display by giving the command 0x01 so in this way the code for interfacing the LCD display is written now let's build this code and check for errors so for building this click on this build icon in the toolbar or simply go to build and click on build we can see that the build is succeeded and there are no errors and no warnings now let's check the execution by going into debugger for opening the debugger click on the start debug icon in the toolbar or simply press alt plus f5 or go to debug and click on start debugging this is how the debugger looks now let's install some breakpoints in order to perform the execution so for installing the breakpoints we have to click in this gray bar at the respective line where we like to install the breakpoint and uncheck it to remove it I've already installed the breakpoints at different positions. Now let's check the simulation. Here we can see that the port D value is being updated by different attributes that is with commands and with data. So I will be checking the values which are being updated in this port D with the help of input output view. If you don't have this input output view then go to debug and go to windows and select input output view. Then you can find a tab like this. So select the port D from this input output tab and we can see the values over here. Now let's start the debugging. For starting the debugging, click on this play icon in the toolbar or click on F5. Initially we can see that the port D value is updated with 0xff and then the command value 0x38 is given to the LCD display. So let's check whether it is being updated or not. In this line we have called the command function. So the pointer will be redirected to this command function. Now we can see that the port D will be taking the value CMD that is the value which is given in this bracket and it will be redirected to this lcd display so let's check it see here we can see that the 0x38 is taken from the microcontroller and given through the port in the similar way the next value 0x0f is also seen see the 0x0f value is also updated in the similar way the 0x01 is updated that is clearing the display now i will be forcing the cursor position to the first line by giving the command 0x80 
So let's check whether the 0x80 is updating properly or not. See, here we can see that the value 0x80 is updated in this port. Now when we click on the play button for the next time, the port D is giving the data which we have given in the main function that is welcome to. This whole data is sent to the print function. Now whenever we click on this play button for the next time, the print function will be called because whenever we call this function, the print function will be called and in this print function, we will be redirecting the data character by character to this data function using this step. And we can see that the hex values of this individual characters being updated in this port D. So let's check it. So we can see that the values are being updated till it reaches the end of this string. See we can see that the pointer is shifted to the command function. That is the string welcome to is completed and the next command 0xc0 is taken. So let's see the value 0xc0 is updating or not. See we can see that the value 0xc0 is updated in this port D. And after this, the next string that is SS embedded world will be accessed and the respective hex values of each character will be seen here till the last one. And here we can see that the pointer location is at command 0x01. Now let's check whether the 0x01 command is given to the LCD through port D or not. So click on play. Since the command function is called, the pointer will be located at this command function. And again clicking on play will result in the change in the port D. So after this, the pointer will return to this command. So, in this way, the execution is checked with the help of debugger in the AVR studio. Now, let's, let's stop the debugging and save this. For stopping the debugging, click on the stop icon or simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus F5. And let's save this file. Click on the save icon in the toolbar or simply press Ctrl plus S. Now, let's check the protease model for the following experiment. This is the protease model of the experiment which we have taken. See, the connections are made as per the circuit diagram which I have shown in the document. The data pins D0 to D7 are connected to port D through which we gave the inputs like commands and data. And the register select and enable pin are connected to port C through which we control them in every function. Now let's dump the hex file of the code which we have written in this microcontroller so that we can see the output which we have given in the main function. For doing that double click on the microcontroller and browse for the hex file from where we have saved the hex file or else go to AVR studio and in the output files we can see that there is a hex file located namely .hex. Open that and right click on the name of the hex file and copy the full path. Go to Protease and double click on the microcontroller and paste the path in this program file section and click on OK. Now the hex file is uploaded to this microcontroller. Now let's start the simulation by clicking the play button. Here we can see that the input which we have given in the main function is displayed and wiped out since we have given the 01 command at the last of the main function. So in this way the 16 by 2 LCD display is interfaced with the Atmega32 microcontroller. The document which I have explained and the code and the Protease model will be available in the description so please check it. Please like, share and subscribe to SS Embedded World and hit that bell icon for getting future updates. Thank you.